I'm assuming you can hear them buzzing. I'm assuming. Anyway, that's a uh, artificial uh, pollen uh, in there, and most of the flowers and everything have quit flowering. So uh, I give them the uh, fake stuff to help them build up. I usually give it to them in the spring and then in the fall so it allows them to build up uh, their supplies for the winter. And I also use, we can come back to them. Anyway, and I also use uh, Pro Sweet liquid food. Um, Man Lake is where I buy this from. I'm not saying buy their product, uh, you know, buy whatever you want to buy. You can even mix up sugar water, which I do do sometimes. Uh, but this has all kinds of good stuff in it. Uh, so usually I give them uh, the Pro Sweet. I also give the bees um, uh, patties also uh, to help them. So anyway, I was just out here, and uh, I want to fill the liquid bird, fe bird feeders. I keep seeing bird feeders. Anyway, so I want to feed, fill. There should be plenty of bees coming and going out of here. Yeah, they're all swarming over there. Anyway, usually there's a lot more bees right here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to pull the top off of this. Edit that part out, right? Very good. Anyway, these are my, uh, uh, what side is which? Okay, that's the dry side, so we don't put liquid in there. Yeah, this one here is the liquid side here, okay. So what I do is I'll, uh, stink bug. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fill this up with liquid. I don't think there's any bees up here now. No. Oh, there was one in there. Sorry, buddy. Go back. Anyway, so I, these uh, feeders are from, uh, they're Epime. Uh, they, you can see they fit wooden ones, and they also fit the uh, Epime beehives. And what's nice is you can open it up, put food in either side of it uh, during the winter if you want, early February, March, whatever, when you want to check your bees, uh, you can add to it. Uh, so that's what's nice about these is you don't lose all the heat from inside the hive. And you're really not even disturbing the hive when you're doing it. But I can guarantee you, as soon as I pop the lid on this, to fill this thing up, I'm going to get swarmed. But you can see they're really coming and going here. That should be fine. It shouldn't bother me. Because I don't have no protection on them. screen where you can't see. I'm not bothering you guys, don't bother me, please. Alright, I'll back off. Alright, uh, uh, get away. Then I'll talk to them like they can understand it, right? Alright, let me fade it here while I fill the feeder up. This is another proc, proc, uh, Ultra B product that I use. Um, this one here expired, uh, I was a manufactured, oh, manufactured date. Uh, the best buy was October. Um, but anyway, uh, I use this early spring and towards the fall. Um, I mean, like I say, there's different levels. Like this one here it has more protein, some have less. This is 58, which is good for the spring. But they have different levels of protein, so keep that in mind. And anyway, you can see. They are really, I don't know how much, let's see how much is in here. I'm not bothering you guys. Don't go down in there. Yeah, look at that. And believe it or not, that thing was full. Well, not full, but I mean it was a lot more. 
I thought about dumping more in there, but they're still working at it. Um, I may dump more in there. I don't, I'm not really sure. Then I got to pick up all these uh, uh, queen excluder, a couple of queen excluders trays to catch the uh, pollen. Um, like I say, so the liquid food, I really, if you don't want to use, um, uh, if you really don't want to use, uh, I don't know how well I can shoot this. Uh, anyway, if you don't want to use, uh, um, you know, the pre-manufactured liquid feed, um, and then what you can do is, uh, see if they're all stall. Now you can hear them. I mean, they're really buzzing. But anyway, if you don't want to use a liquid feed, you can make your own. Use water, good quality water. Um, if you have chlorine in it from city water, you could probably use that, but I would recommend uh, using uh, clean water. I use uh, RO water. I've used RO water probably since 85, 86, somewhere in there, 86. I started using RO water and I use it for all my apiary and everything. Uh, and it's better, healthier for you, RO water. No contaminants in it. But anyway, you mix, uh, you can mix one to one, one part sugar, uh, one part water or for the winter time or spring or whatever if you want to make it a little bit thicker for them because you got to remember they have to get the humidity out of it the amount of moisture before they can turn it into honey and cap it uh, you can use two to one two parts sugar one part water um, I use it both ways now what I like to do though on the uh, as far as the feeders go or as far as the food goes I also it's killing my arm holding this freaking camera, but I got a tripod right there, see? <laughs> but, um, anyway, the, uh, um, when you use sugar, um, I prefer to use, uh, um, see if I can adjust this a little bit better. All right, I'm dicking around. Cut all that part out, dumbass. I know. Uh, anyway, I like to use, um, cane sugar rather than beet sugar um because it's more natural i mean yeah beet sugar is okay that's mostly what you buy in the grocery stores but i use uh cane sugar uh you don't need the boiler the mixture you heat it up uh until stir it a lot now i like to add uh there's two products that i like to add to it uh you can add really <laughs> you can add um Honey Bee Healthy it comes in a small jar. Uh, most of your places, Man Lake carries it. Um, oh my God, the other one I buy from. Isn't that terrible? I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, add a little Honey Bee Healthy or um, lemon oil, lemongrass oil uh, to it if you want. Uh, it just helps them and it also attracts them. So uh, I just usually add Honey Bee Healthy when I make the liquid myself. Um, I add, well, see, it depends because I probably add, because I don't, I, when I make it, I use, buzz off, uh, in a way, I use, uh, I'm trying to think, in a way, uh, on the jar itself of the Honey Bee Healthy, if you buy that, it is expensive, it's like 25 bucks for a small jar, a pint, but it lasts a long time because it only takes, I think, one Maybe one tablespoon. Don't. I'm not positive. You'd have to read the bottle to see. But anyway, I put always put some honey bee healthy in it, or a lemongrass oil, and bees like that. So and then to keep your bee, if you have a problem with the, these feeders here, they work really good. You don't really get any dead bees so much. Very few drownings. But if you have another type feeder, and you're worried about them drowning, what you can take is like when you decap the combs, save that wax. Okay. Fill your feeder with the liquid food, and then you can sprinkle the used wax on top of it, okay? That way there, the bees can get on the wax itself, and they can still get to the honey. And by the time they empty the feeder by spring, you'll notice the honey will be completely gone, but the wax will still be in there. And you'll have very few dead bees that way. So that's a good idea. Uh, all these guys have been treated for uh, mites. Uh, so they're pretty good for the winter. Um, I didn't harvest any honey 
off of that one, I think that one, uh, this year here because uh, the one hive was a split, this one here, this hive here was a split for that one. I did a video on it, uh, but I don't think I ever put it up. I'll have to look for it and I'll put it up. So if you want to subscribe, it'll be in the bottom right hand corner. There's a lot of videos on here, uh, you know, about bees. Um, I have quite a few. Some people may disagree, some don't. Uh, it's really a lot of it's a matter of opinion. Uh, the course that uh, uh, Spartans, uh, Michigan University, they have a course for veterans. Not really the best course. And they have a lot of bullshit videos in it that don't mean anything. And they want you to watch them. And they also put commercials in it. Well, when the VA is paying for it, why am I watching commercials? So anyway, not a big fan of the Michigan University. Uh, then when they give you a certificate, when you pass the course, they don't mail you an embossed certificate. They give you a shit piece of paper that you print on your printer. That's not even legit. But anyway, uh, if you want to subscribe, it'll be in the bottom right-hand corner. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks. Do you want another shot of the bees? Now, one thing that's important um, for the winter time, if you leave your uh, honey supers on, which this is here, uh, so if you leave your honey supers on, uh, which is fine, you can do that, okay? Ants. Um, you can leave the honey supers on during the winter, uh, but just remember to remove your queen excluders. Okay, because what happens is during the winter time, the hive, like you can see how busy it is down here. Okay, and what I'll okay, now you can see there you go. Because what happens during the winter time, let me see if I can see that. Yeah, you can see they're coming and going. It's a nice warm day, it's like 80, 75, 76 out, and you can see them coming, but anyway, uh, the reason that you want to take your honey excluders out. If you, leave your, if you leave your honey supers on, which you can do, but if you use any of the artificial ingredients, you know, artificial uh, liquid feed and the uh, powder and the cakes, um, the protein pad, uh, patties, um, is, anyway, the reason you want to leave, take, ah, God, the reason you want to take your excluders out is because during the winter time, what happens is, like you see how tall this one is here? I have two honey supers on it. But what happens is during the winter time, what happens is the hive, you know, will start, you know, a lower level here, and they during the winter time they slowly work their way all the way up to the top. Okay? So if you leave your honey supers on, that'll give them plenty of food to get them through the winter. But you have to remember during the winter they slowly migrate upwards. Okay? So if you, as they migrate upwards, you want to make sure the queen can also migrate upwards also. Because the hive itself, they will. They'll migrate upwards uh, for where the food source is. And there's more heat, obviously, in the top than the bottom. So just make sure you take your queen excluders out if you leave your honey supers on. If you take your honey supers off, then don't worry about it. But it's very important because you don't want the queen to be left in a lower chamber and everybody move up and then your queen will die. She won't get the food she needs and she'll freeze to death. So anyway, just make sure to do that. Oh, if you want to subscribe, hit the little B in the bottom right hand corner. Tell a friend, tell an enemy, hey, I got videos for everybody there. And uh, anyway, uh, you need a thousand people to uh, make money. I've got like 400 uh, or 380 or whatever. So anyway, I just appreciate everybody watching my videos and hope you gain some knowledge here.